no intro. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your browser. In my case, I am using Google Chrome, but you can use basically any browser. And here in the search bar, you can just type in Prism Launcher, or just click the top link in the description down below. Once you're here, just click on Prism Launcher Home, and click on Download Now. So here you can select if you want to have the 64-bit version or the ARM 64-bit version. For me, I'm just using a desktop, so it's just Windows 10, 11, 64-bit. And if we go up here after downloading it, we'll see that it is now downloaded. So we, so what we can do is just close the browser because we are done with that step and open up our downloads folder. Now, your downloads folder will be different from mine. I just have a shortcut to it on my desktop. Most people haven't set this up, but you just go to your downloads folder, wherever you have your file set up to download from your browser. And once you're there, you'll be able to see the setup file and you just want to double click it and it is going to start the setup. So here, just click on next, next, install. And it is going to install Prism Launcher. Just continue clicking next, next and finish. And then it is going to be installed. I'll be back once it's actually installed. So as you can see here, you can select the language that you want to use. I'm just going to be going with American English. And we can just click next. So here, you can just select all of the different customization stuff. So here, doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with default and just click next. Here, you want to add your Microsoft account that has Minecraft on it. So just click on add a Microsoft account. So as you can see, we are now logged in to our Microsoft account and we can now actually set everything up. So here, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is click on add instance. Here, you'll see a bunch of different versions. So here we have all the vanilla stuff, here we have all the modded stuff. So for example, if I go over to modern, we can select a different mod pack, for example, and that is going to allow us to play with fabulously optimized. But for now, we're just gonna open up custom, aka vanilla, and select 1.21.10. This is what it will look like right after you have set up your first instance, and if you want to launch it, you just double click on the Minecraft block right here, and it's going to start up the instance. However, there are a few things we need to go over before we actually start up the instance. So if you right click, you'll see you have a bunch of different options here. And what you want to do is you want to click on edit, and this is where you can change a bunch of different stuff. Here you have the log. We go to versions, we have some version information, we can add some mods, resource packs, shader packs, we'll see some notes, worlds, servers, screenshots, and if we go over to settings, we'll see here we have memory. So here, so here we can change the amount of RAM allocated to the instance. So for example, if I wanted to add 8 gigabytes of RAM, that would be 8192 megabytes. So here, once that is done, what I can do is we can just close this, and if we open edit back up, we will be able to see that in the settings it is actually saved. So now we can just click on launch. However, you may run into this issue. No compatible Java version is found. So here, what you want to do is you want to download and install Java. The process is very simple, so I'm not actually going to show the process. I'm just going to have a link in the description below to download Java. But here you just go over to settings once you're here. And you want to click on job installation, auto detect, and we'll see a bunch of different versions here. Just select the nearest one, click OK, and click launch. And it should work just fine. So as you can see, this is what Minecraft looks like once you're actually in the game. If we go over to options, we'll see that everything looks exactly like Minecraft, because this is just Minecraft, this is just the vanilla version. And if we go over to multiplayer, we'll be able to click on add server, and for example, if I want to add hypixel.net, then we'll see hypixel.net shows up and we are actually able to join because once again this is a completely legitimate way of playing minecraft it's a completely legitimate launcher with no weird cracked issues this is just a launcher for the game assuming that you use your microsoft account that has minecraft on it everything will work just fine so that is it for this video if you want to see more videos like this one don't forget to like and subscribe and some notifications and i will be seeing you in the next one Peace.